Hi friends, we are launching into our devotional series that is following along with the Bema discussion groups that we are doing at the Springs Vineyard in Colorado Springs on Wednesday nights. Um, this is a really good discussion group. It's going to lead us deeper into scripture. And we just started the intro lesson uh, last night. So next week we'll be on chapter, well, session one of the Bema podcasts. And it's way back in the Old Testament, but it triggered some thinking for me. Um, as exciting as it is launching into this series and the depth of the Bible that we will learn as we look at it through a Hebrew and Easterner and Old Testament context, um, it got me thinking about some New Testament concepts. Um, I was thinking about how we as the church are meant to follow Jesus and how my perspective on what that looks like has been challenged. So I just want to share this verse. This is John chapter 12, verse 26. It says, and this is Jesus talking, anyone who wants to serve me must follow me because my servants must be where I am and the father will honor anyone who serves me. That's the new living translation. And I think that we as followers of Jesus can agree that we do want to serve and follow Jesus. Uh, we are sure that that's our calling. And a lot of times, and what is challenging me is looking at the Bible through this different filter, this Hebrew Eastern world filter, and how I think as Westerners and Americans, we hear follow me from Jesus and we open our Bibles and we look to the scriptures and see what does Jesus say to do. And that is not bad. That is not bad. We can do that. It's okay. Um, but we can leave it there at that, like as though Jesus is our giver of rules, our, our giver of lists and directions and guidelines. And we know he's more than that, but sometimes that's the part we cling to is the written words of Jesus that tell us what to do. And it can be very hard to serve a living God who may not feel alive. And looking at the Bible, even as next week we're going to start in Genesis, and it will floor you how alive the Bible feels. And what happened to me was I realized that we as Westerners follow the Bible as a set of rules and guidelines more often than not. That's our, our Greek heritage coming out in us. That's just how our minds have been trained to view um, the literature that's handed to us, including the Bible. But the Easterner and the Hebrew viewed the Bible as um, a compilation of stories, a, a set of mysterious enigmas that were meant to be uncovered and unwrapped and like gems that were meant to be found. And if you look at the way that the Jewish culture still works today, where a rabbi leads his followers and the ones who get up really close to that rabbi, they do every, they brush their teeth the way he brushes his teeth. And that's what I want to challenge us today. If we were to follow Jesus as our rabbi and imagine him because he is still alive and with us. Imagine him brushing his teeth next to us in the morning. Imagine him going down to the kitchen to get breakfast. And what would he eat? And how long would he spend talking to the family? And how long would he spend on his phone? And all the little, the little life things from sunup to sundown. If we had Jesus right in front of us, what would we do to follow him? And of course, we're using scripture to, to know we're on the right path and to guide us. And that is good too. But the Holy Spirit was given to us to help us tune in. And Jesus is walking with us. And he is our, he is our rabbi. So let me just read this verse again. Um, John 12, 26. Anyone who wants to serve me must follow me because my servants must be where I am. And the Father will honor anyone who serves me. So I guess what I want to do today, as we've just launched into the Bema discussions, is challenge us as to how we follow Jesus. And I don't necessarily want us to stop seeing the Bible as full of good guidelines, because it is. But can we open up 
more and try to follow Jesus as someone in the room who is leading by an amazing example. So I'll just leave you with that today and let you process that, how it might apply to you, or maybe it doesn't apply to you today. That's all right too, but it's good to be challenged. And I thought this was a shareable one. Let me just pray real fast. God, be with us. We just ask, please send your Holy Spirit to lighten our path. Show us where Jesus is and what he's doing. Help us to tune in. Help us to ask for Jesus to guide us every minute of the day. And help us to get good at this so that it becomes a habit and a ritual in our lives to look to Jesus, look to Jesus. God, we thank you for sending your son as an example to us of how you would like us to live. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, we will see you next week. And I hope that you are blessed. Bye.